Jade Hound Street. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Good afternoon, and welcome to my daily Facebook Live. Um, today's topic's going to have some fun with, in a way, or there's some people going to be probably pained to listen about this, so we'll see how it goes. Let's get started, shall we? Starting off with who I am, what I'm about. My name is Barry Selby. I am a passionate champion for the Iron Feminine. I am also a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. Um, sorry, my mind's on something else because I'm right. You've got a book coming out in April, which will be my second book I'm a contributing author to. Stuff's happening. Life is busy, you know? And this is my daily Facebook Live, which is part of an ongoing series called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. This is number 247 an ongoing series of daily talks to inspire, awaken, and educate male and female partners, singles, and relationship conversations. And this one I put off because I, I was asked about this about a week ago and I got into some other topics and didn't get to do it. So today's topic is let's talk about ghosting. Dun, dun, dun. It's not Halloween. Um, this is something that many of us may not have experienced. I should say, I would say that we, many of us have experienced but haven't labeled it. So let's talk about what ghosting is first, and then perhaps some ideas about what it means, or what is in, or, or why it's done, and what to do about it. That's three things I'm promising. We'll see how that goes. So, um, first, what is ghosting? Ghosting, I, and I'm not going to be technical because I don't have the technical definition, but ghosting is basically the act of disappearing. You know, um, you're going to somebody and you're in touch with them and suddenly out of, after maybe a few dates, a few connections, they vanish off the radar. They don't return texts, return calls, nothing. They're, invis they're invisible to you. They may still be on Facebook, but they're not interacting with you. That's the simplest way of describing ghosting. And it isn't gender specific, but it tends to be men ghosting women more than women ghost men. Although I'm not sure if the numbers are really that accurate. It may well be an even uh, closer to even balance. So, there are no gender rights and wrongs here. This is ghosting as in the ghoster and the ghostee, so we'll put it that way. Why it happens, I suspect the simplest reason is the person who ghosted you, I'll put it in that context, um, stopped liking inter not, or getting what they wanted from you and decided that they wanted to go somewhere else but didn't know how to break it to you. Most people who ghost are... I say this, unable, unwilling, scared of speaking the truth. I would say it's probably the bottom line for ghosting what is in the way is because people are afraid to express the truth because they're either afraid to hurt the other person's feelings, which is part of it, or they're more likely to be unwilling to, unwilling to lose face. They want to, take care, they want to um, save their own self-reflection by not telling you the truth. Because they don't want to be. Because the other thing is they don't want to be trapped. So all these negative terms about this stuff. And the truth about ghosting for me really is this simple: ghosting's for people who don't know the. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. That was gonna be crude. I want to be only polite. <laughs> ghosting is done by people who don't have the balls to be honest. That's probably the reality of it all. And if you're a set, if you're the recipient of ghosting, and I'm just looking back at my own history now. Bear in mind that for those of us who've been around long enough to date before smartphones came out, texting wasn't so prevalent, and can I date myself that much? Let's just say that I was, I was around, not doing this, but I was when I was, I was a way lot younger, before there were even cell phones. So to ghost somebody wasn't exactly hard in a way because you didn't have an easy way of being resourced. But people had cell phones basically on them all the time. They're connected to their cell phones, so ghosting has been more evident, but maybe no less happening than it used to be before the invention of a phone attached to your hip. So, if you've been ghosted, there's a few responses you have, a few choices you have, one of which is to feel like you're the victim of their ghosting you, and that's a mistake. If you feel like you were hard done by because they didn't bother to come back to you, they didn't reach out to you, they dropped you for no reason, something's obviously wrong with you, all this lies you tell yourself are just that, they're lies. If you've been ghosted by somebody, count yourself lucky. Yes, count yourself lucky. 
Why do I say that? Because if they ghost you, if they hadn't ghosted you, and this is this, let me say this. If there's somebody who would have ghosted you, but they didn't because they weren't able to, they were ready to do so, it's quite likely they're going to continue lying to you. Because again, ghosting is, is an avoidance of the truth. So it's lying, in a way, by omission. That feels right. I mean, you may have different points. And again, oh, I didn't say this. By the way, this is a live broadcast on Facebook Live. If you're watching it here, feel free to put comments below and you can interact this way. If you're watching the replay, do the same thing and I'll respond afterwards. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can put in comments after the fact because it's a, it's a recorded broadcast there. So ghosting, in a way, is, is lying by omission because they're not telling you the truth that they don't want to see you, which is what really they're doing. So the worst way you can respond to somebody, you go, well, one of the worst ways you can respond, <laughs> unless there's more, the show, more showing up, one of the ways you can, they, they, um, you can respond to them is to feel a victim of what they did. You feel hard done by you, feel like they victimized you, they didn't honor you, um, how could they, they loved you, your, your, whole, your life plan was laid out before you, and they just walked away. Well, if that's the way you run your life, you may want to reconsider your own self-respect, self-support, and self-ownership because you're likely to be someone who is massively codependent on somebody else saving you. Error and approach. The second option or a way that you could be, um, how can I say this, reactive to them ghosting you is to hunt them down and kill them. Well, <laughs> I'm being extreme. But hunt them down and pursue them and demand an answer, which is also highly ineffective. And it puts you also in a victim role because you're dependent upon them giving you an answer that will satisfy you, which it never will. So neither of those two options is going to serve you. It's not healthy, it's not helping you, and it's going to hurt your heart more than it already has. So there may be a third option, which is this. If they ghost you and you feel hurt by that, focus on loving yourself through the hurt. Focus on respecting yourself and honoring who you are because you didn't do anything wrong. I'm hoping that sinks in for a second. I was giving a gap for that one. If you've been ghosted, it's their stuff, not yours. If there was some reason they wanted to stop seeing you and they told you that and there was something you got to see about yourself that wasn't clear, that's a different story. But when they ghost you, there's no communication. You have nothing to work with. So if you don't know why they ghosted you, why not presume the best that they couldn't handle you and you deserve better? Smart move to me. So if you've been ghosted, yes, it may hurt. But remember that they couldn't face talking to you because they didn't feel confident enough or, try, or feel worthy enough ooh, of, being, of being with you. Try that one on for size. Being ghosted could be the biggest gift you can have because it releases you to be free. It allows you to recognize that you deserve more. And yes, if you have the hurt, the pain, as I mentioned, the, 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 um, the hurt, wounded feelings, the feelings of loss, then face that, love that, heal that so you can be whole again. That's the best solution if somebody ghosted you because if they choose to come back, because some people who ghost try to re reattach and then ghost you again, that's an error and approach for them. And if you take care of yourself and honor respect to who you are, when they try to come back again, you can say, no, thank you. And you can be clear. So if they ghost you, they lost the chance to come back. Now, let me give you a couple of extra curricular options because in some cases, ghosting is not what happened. What I mean by that? If an extreme situation happened where the person who you think ghosted you actually got into an, a terrible accident, was in hospital, and their phone was turned off, and for a week you didn't hear from them, or two weeks, because they were in a coma. Obviously, it's a different story. Now, I want to put that in there intentionally because I want to say, you know, ghosting is a particular flavor. It's not, if they don't reach out to you, it could be different for the reasons. They could be ghosting you because their um, husband, wife, show back up in their lives, and they went back in love, and they didn't reach out to you again. Again, you're let off the hook. That's a relief. So I'm saying ghosting is not necessarily one thing that happens. There are different things that can be classified as that if you are very strict about them calling you back or texting you back or being unavailable to, reach, to be reached. And my advice to you, my recommendation to you, is if you've been ghosted, especially if it's happened recently, any wounds you carry inside are for you to heal. Because when you heal them, you'll be whole. It's not up to anybody else to heal them. 
heal yourself. Now, if it, it, it happens to my coaching clients, I do help them heal past hurts, past wounds, past challenges. But seek a, seek a way of, sol- of solving this for yourself. If you know to do this, love yourself, forgive yourself, heal yourself. Do that. It will help you honor, respect, and value yourself so that you won't, no, let me phrase it differently, help you value, honor, and respect yourself so that you will be available to a higher quality of relationship. If you've been ghosted a lot by different people, you may want to look into that. That's a different piece. If you've been ghosted by different people multiple times, like by multiple different people, maybe something's going on inside of you that you want to look at. What may have happened for you? What may have you done or not done? Said or not said? Um, provided or not provided? Now, I'm already seeing peaks of the, If what you didn't provide was to jump in bed with them right away, then that's their issue, not yours, if that's what you feel is comfortable for you. If it's the other way around, where you were overly providing and they didn't want that right up front, maybe you want to look at that as a possible course correction in your own dating life. I'm giving you lots of things to think about because this is not an easy black and white answer, but ghosting is, in some ways, a very simple act done to you. The results, the reasons, and the solutions are multiple. So I hope you get that point. Is there anything else I need to say right now? I think that might be it. I haven't seen any comments or questions, so I will wrap this up. This is a, this is a fairly, yeah, fairly short broadcast today. This is my one on my weekend broadcast since the casual gear. Um, and this is my daily Facebook Live. If you haven't watched my broadcast before, I do this every day. It's number 247, an ongoing series of talks called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. You can find all of these on my business page on Facebook, on my website, which is barryselby.com, on the video blog. Also on YouTube, we can watch them there. And again, I invite you to, share, to put any comments, questions below, and I'll, answer the, I'll respond to them once I sign off. If you know anybody should watch this, perhaps they've been ghosted or somebody, well, I wouldn't send it to somebody who ghosted you. That wouldn't be appropriate. But if you feel like somebody can get, should see this for their own benefit, please share it with them. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. It's not an easy topic. And again, this works, and I said at the beginning, ghosting happens both ways. It's not just men doing it to women or women doing it to men. It tends to be either way. The dominate, I believe that the numbers tend towards men ghosting women versus the other way around. I could be wrong, and I think I might be, because I think a lot more um, men have been ghosted by women, but I'm, but I'm willing to admit it. So the numbers may be even, who knows. So with that, um, thank you for watching. Thanks for being with me. I'll be back again tomorrow for number 248. I'll find time sometime around the Super Bowl. <laughs> may do it in the morning, we'll see. Um, and as always, I invite you to take care of yourself. You deserve the best. Treat yourself that way and you'll get the best. But only you know how to do that. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.